Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a reading on what you're not expecting to happen for October 7th through the 15th, and we're going to get straight into it, okay? This is going to be basically looking at the unpredictable events that may be coming up that you may have to deal with, address, things of that nature. Now, understand this is general so everything i say is not going to happen to you specifically only you um bits and pieces may be for you and other pieces may be for other people understand that um it's better to get a personal reading if you are looking for a personal energy tap in um all that information to book a session with me will be listed below and to just in general reach me on any of my handles now on my website if you want a reading take advantage of the 20% off by joining our emailing list as well. Okay. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. So what is going on with my Pisces for October 7th through the 15th? Pisces. Okay. So first card out, we have the death card interesting so i actually love this card because this card represents so so much positive things in regards to shifting out of the negative so when the death card shows up that means that there's a need for a transformation it's reminiscent of a butterfly and you guys know how much i love butterflies right so when the death card comes up this is going through that cocoon state and then coming out of that cocoon state and forming into a butterfly and able to, you know, spread your wings, fly, move around, do what you need to do versus being sluggish and, you know, having to drag your feet as a caterpillar. So when we're relating this to real life, for a lot of you during this time frame, what's happening is a lot of endings, yes, are taking place around you. Okay. Some of you may be finally quitting that job or some of you may just you know, maybe getting laid off. Okay. I don't want to put any negative energy out there, but again, I don't see this as negative energy. I see this as transformation, but some of you may be leaving that relationship that's been draining you. You've been tired of it for a long time, but it's that codependency aspect of, okay, well, we've been dealing with each other for 10 years. We've been dealing with each other for this amount of months. So why would I leave, uh, energy? And you may have been very, like I said, unhappy and needing to leave. So that relationship may be ending. Some of you, your, um, your drug addiction may be ending. If you're somebody who smokes a lot of weed or smokes cigarettes or drinks a lot or whatever, whatever it may be, it's going to be different for every person, but there's a transformation that's happening nonetheless. And it's going to be sparked by some sort of ending that takes place. And this ending is necessary. Anything that does get removed during this time frame best believe that it was for your best interest. Okay. Now the only problem that some of you may have is you may be wanting to reinvest in things that have end ended. Make sure you're not backtracking though. Make sure you're not backsliding. If the universe removes it, there's a reason. Okay. Let's see. Take from the top. Oh, okay. So we have the fortune card. I like this card. So fortune for a lot of you, the changes that may be happening are actually going to be mainly surrounded your fine surrounding your finances. Some of you, you're going to be either learning new ways to make more money or completely ending one way of making money and implementing a whole new system of making money. Okay. Especially if you are an entrepreneur, you may be ending one segment of your business and creating something totally new out of that or some of you leaving that job to actually start that business or leaving one job that may have been paying you way less than what you were deserving of in your mind and what you know your worth is and going to a company that may be, you know, choosing to pay you more. But I'm definitely seeing some sort of changes. And for a lot of you, you're really walking into prosperity through making these necessary changes. So if you've been second guessing yourself about like, dang, should I just stick this job out a little bit more, even though I hate it here, um, but it pays my bills? Or should I just go ahead and leave? And this is that confirmation. Some of you of course, do it the right way. Don't just up and quit your job unless you have savings. But if you have savings for like the next six months, six months to however long, then 
I would definitely say go ahead and make that move to start looking at other ways to make money or even just investing on it on the side. Okay. We have the child card. Some of you, if you have a newborn or you have a younger child, whether the child is in between the ages of two months to two years, um, what I will say is if you're somebody who works a lot, make sure you're spending more time with your child. I think that there may be a need for you to not allow yourself to just overwork yourself to the point where you're not able to really have time to invest in your child, especially if you're a mother and you've just had to go back to work after having a baby. Some of you, I, I do see where that could be affecting some of you guys' mental health and this may be coming up during this time frame. okay? Some of you, your child may have like a, a slight cough. I wouldn't be worried during this time frame. okay? I know that was you know, random, but some of you may have a child with a slight cough during this time frame. It's nothing to be scared of. It's not, you know, that C word that's going around. Um, it just may be just a cough. Okay. Journey. Hmm. Okay. Some of you during this time frame, if you decide to travel, definitely make sure you're not traveling in your car. So if you're doing like a road trip situation, definitely make sure that you have some sort of, um, uh, backup money just in case anything was to happen. Cause for some of you, while you're driving, you could hit like a rock or something. And I'm not, and I'm just letting you guys know what I see. Um, don't get mad at me with the cards. I just read the cards. Okay. I just have to throw that out there. I am not the creator of your existence. I don't make these things happen to you. I just read what happens. Okay. Some of you, your car may hit a rock and it may flatten your tire. And if you don't have no money for it, then you may be out of gas. Okay. So that's, that's something that's coming through. But if you're traveling, I would definitely suggest that you are using some sort of rental. You don't even want to risk it because that is kind of coming through here. Um, some of you, if you are feeling down right now, or just out of it, some of you just need to take a vacation, like some time off from work. Um, or literally going on a vacation because some of you, like your mental health is in a very questionable state. If there is something that you guys are going through as of right now, we have the enemy card. So some of you are also starting to realize that certain people just don't have your back like that. Um, especially for some of you in regards to love, you may be feeling like, oh, well, I, I thought you had my best interest, but I'm not too sure of that at this point. Okay. And the best thing you can do is just distance yourself from anybody who you feel is questionable. Don't even, don't even give it any energy, any sort of combativeness in regards to that. Just, just let individuals who don't have your best interests exit on their free will and just pay them deaths child <laughs> um some of you have an enemy at at your job or something like that avoid confrontation avoid speaking to this individual because this person's definitely waiting for any moment to take it too far and get you fired especially if you work a fast food job um any sort of like job where you have to serve people it could even be customer service um, some of you even have like an asshole job. That's, I mean, asshole job, asshole boss who gives you a difficult time just because they want to, you know, be able to fire you whenever they would like to. Okay. So hmm, what else is coming through? Some of you are also going to learn about trying to help people. Like some of you are just too helpful and helping people may have been your downfall for a while now like this is not something new like some of you may be having this issue where you you see the best in people and you want to be there for them but i'm telling you during this time frame that may actually come back to bite you like don't loan anybody any money during this time frame or anything of that nature because that may backfire okay but this is what i see 
thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you were able to take something from this reading. If you did, please make sure you thumbs this video up, subscribe. Um, if you want a personal, like I said, because this is general, please check out the description box. All my social media handles and everything that you need to book a session will be listed there. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.